Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another video. Doing a little bit, something a little bit different today. I um, recently got this from a buddy of mine, Lockie. Uh, he was on the podcast with me for a while. Um, he hooked me up with the Ashiguru Stormtrooper from Bandai, um, the movie realization line. I think this is the first Stormtrooper that came out because it's sort of the sort of just the regular standard Stormtrooper. Uh, they've since done Sand Troopers and more <laughs> I can't remember uh, this is only the second figure of these I've got I do have the Darth Vader um, which I think was the second release he had the biggest sort of ornate bit on his helmet um, whereas the one on the back there yeah, isn't the one um, so I, I really really love this figure I love this line um, I wish I was able to afford to get more of them to be honest um, but we're going to look at a look at this guy today so stay tuned and be right with you. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Ashigaru Stormtrooper. Um, <laughs> this thing is fantastic. I really like the way the uh, armor has sort of transitioned into that classic Japanese samurai look. Um, just the amount of details and bits of weathering, um, just to add some depth into those little grooves and bits and pieces and different um, sculpts throughout the throughout the figure is fantastic. Accessory accessories are great. Um, comes with a selection of hands. It does come with a version of the E11 blaster, which looks looks kind of cool. Um, I'm all about giving these guys their katanas um, and their swords and stuff, as opposed to a blaster. Um, but that's cool. I like it anyway. Um, he does come with a pair of closed fists. So can you sort of see that weathering there on the armor? So it comes with two sort of gripping, tight gripping hands. The other one is currently on the figure there. So that's cool. Does come with two trigger fingers. And then a sort of another looser grip, a looser gripped hand, uh, which is another one there. Gives it Gives him a chance to hold the uh, the thingy majiggy, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, that's I really like this. Um, the sheath is the word I was looking for. I'm sure, there's another word for it, but that also does just sort of lock into the side there. Can be removed, can be moved around, which is great. Uh, the sword itself looks nice. It's not the longest. Um, it's a little bit, a bit of a shorter, shorter blade, but that's cool. Having a blaster probably means that it's not his uh, primary, primary weapon. So we'll just sort of get a close look at the helmet here, because that is really slick. It looks great. Like I said just the way it sort of crosses over into that very samurai-esque um, feel which is you know it's only natural that Star Wars was very much uh, inspired by sort of Japanese particular particularly Vader in his helmet Go around the back all these bits here on the back there are separate layers they're very nice you allow for a little bit of movement and flexibility especially when you want to move his head around the sort of shoulder armor here which is sort of just popped on there with a uh, ball and peg but allows for a lot of movement and that's on a hinge itself as well in the joint so you can have it back forward sort of floating up you really manipulate this any way you want um, it's really quite nice He's got another little articulated bit of armor there. I'm guessing that sort of blocks blocks attacks against the throat. Um, 
or it's just ornate I'm not sure I've never really studied up on samurai armor uh, the chest here looks great sort of get down to the uh, upper skirt I guess there's a uh, spot there for a smaller blade which he doesn't come with still got a spot there for the thermal detonator which is cool it's got a little pouch well this is a couple of layers here so all these bits are very very movable got those bits there which I'm pretty sure they're attached to the leg there yep so they move and we've got the uh the different legs which is which is a cool feature you've got the sort of um I forgot what they called that part of the stormtrooper it was like a part for them to sort of kneel down on I can't remember what it's called and then the uh very very cool sort of shoes which also have some armor attached so just great details articulation is just balls to the wall really um, it's gonna be hard to go through so I'm not going to and I don't want to make this video last forever so um, just wanted to give you all a quick overview I did have a request um, to me on Instagram so I hope this does it justice definitely recommend this figure uh, this is a particularly cool one I really like a lot really like the look of a lot of the stormtroopers some of the first order stuff that's come out recently I'm not super fond of um, the Kylo Ren looks cool but uh, yeah I'm all about this sort of imperial era fantastic stuff all right guys I'll leave it there let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll be back with some more videos very very soon until then May the force be with you, always.